Hello, green and white supporter, look at this news. This news just happened, and it is causing a stir on the web. A journalist just brought some hot news, and I'm bringing it to you firsthand. Nobody saw this coming. Before revealing what's going on, I'll just ask you to leave a like on this video, and in return, I'll keep you updated daily with the latest Celtic news. Thank you, and let's get to it. Celtic fans have once again witnessed a controversial VAR incident, this time at McDiarmid Park, where Dyson Maeda's first half goal was disallowed. Manager Brendan Rodgers did not hide his dissatisfaction with the decision, making it clear that, in his view, the hoops were clearly wronged. Brendan Rodgers' side dominated the game from start to finish against St Johnston, putting on a true attacking display in Perth. Maeda, who was named man of the match, showed all his talent by heading into the top of the net in the second half, but it's impossible to ignore the goal that should have been his in the first half, a beautiful half volley into the top left corner. However, referee Don Robertson decided to disallow the goal after a review on the VAR monitor. The reason? An alleged contact between Austin Trusty and Saints midfielder Graham Carey during the play. After a short free kick, Trusty took the ball at the edge of the box, and there was a collision between him and Carey. The replay showed that Trusty simply used his physical strength to outmuscle the former Celtic player, but apparently, Alan Muir in the VAR room saw it differently, requesting the referee to review the incident, resulting in the goal being disallowed. This marks the fourth VAR intervention against Celtic this season, and we're only six games in. For many fans, this raises the question, is there a bias against Celtic, or are we just unlucky? Rogers did not hesitate to comment, it should never have been disallowed. If you watch it again, Austin loses his marker, their player steps into his space and collides with him. Obviously, Carey goes down, and he's hurt. He also added, Dyson ends up scoring a very good goal, which was disallowed. So, I don't think that should have been disallowed. Rogers went even further, mentioning how questionable yesterday's decision was. According to him, a player altering their movement towards another and then getting crushed is a clear situation. He even joked, if I walked in front of a bus on the street, it'd be hard to blame the bus. A humorous analogy that reflects the frustration of someone feeling unfairly punished. The relief, at least this time, is that this controversial decision did not impact the final result of the match. But the question remains, how long will Celtic fans have to watch decisions like this affect games? On the next SFA program, the VAR Review, head of referees Willie Collum and presenter Gordon Duncan will review the incidents from recent matches. It will be interesting to see how Collum justifies referee Don Robertson's decision to change his original stance. And you, Celtic fan? How are you feeling about yet another controversial decision? It seems like VAR has been one more obstacle for the hoops this season. Leave your opinion in the comments, do you think we're being treated unfairly? Or is it all part of the game? We want to hear what you have to say.